At CHI St. Vincent, we prioritize your well-being not only during surgery, but also in the crucial period afterward. Let us guide you through what you should expect after surgery. After your surgery, you will be in the post-anesthesia care unit, or PACU. Our caring staff will closely monitor your condition. They'll ensure your comfort, help manage any pain, and address any post-operative concerns. If you are scheduled for an inpatient surgery, after your stay in PACU, you will be taken to your hospital room in the inpatient unit. There, your nurse will tell you the plan to assist you in recovery from your surgery. You will receive oxygen through a thin tube called a nasal cannula that rests below your nose. A nurse will be monitoring your body temperature, pulse, blood pressure, and oxygen levels. You might receive oxygen through a mask called a non-rebreather mask, which may reduce risk of surgical site infection. Your nurse will tell you when to discontinue using it. Depending on your surgery, you might also have other things to assist in your recovery, such as a Foley catheter in your bladder to monitor the amount of urine you're making, compression stockings and sequential compression device on your lower legs to help your circulation and to prevent blood clots, etc. You may also have some dietary restrictions following surgery. Those will be explained to you and normal food and liquids will be reintroduced to your diet per your medical team's instructions. During your hospital stay, our compassionate medical staff will provide around-the-clock care, including medication management, wound care, and physical therapy as needed. Our goal is to support your recovery and help you regain strength and mobility. We'll work closely with you to ensure a smooth healing process and provide education on self-care and pain management. After anesthesia, deep breathing is an important part of your recovery. You may be given an incentive spirometer. This is a device to encourage deep breathing and to help expand your lungs. It is recommended to use this 10 times per hour when you are awake. Depending on the procedure, you may be expected to get out of bed with assistance the day of surgery. Sitting up and walking with assistance is recommended as soon as possible. Depending on the physician's orders, you may work with physical therapy during your post-operative period. Slowly increasing activity is important for your recovery. If you are experiencing difficulty sitting up in a chair, getting out of bed independently, or walking, please notify your medical team. Your surgeon and medical team will give you instructions regarding showering after surgery. Your vital signs will be checked multiple times per day to make sure you are recovering safely. Your surgeon will ultimately approve all care provided, decide when you are ready to be discharged, and if you require any home care services. As an inpatient, You'll have access to a range of hospital amenities and services, including nutritious meals, personalized attention from our caring staff, and a comfortable environment conducive to healing. At CHI St. Vincent, we want to make sure your recovery is as comfortable as possible. A certain degree of pain and discomfort will accompany any surgical procedure. Your level of pain and discomfort will depend on your procedure and individual pain tolerance. Some pain and discomfort is part of the healing process, to help with your pain, your provider may order a multimodal pain management strategy for you. By managing your pain, you'll help improve your healing, increase your strength and activity level, rest better, and enhance your recovery. The term multimodal refers to using different classes of medication and non-medication to manage pain. You may be prescribed a non-opioid medication like acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Ice packs, heat packs, and or elevation may be prescribed to reduce pain. If pain is severe, opioid medication may be prescribed as needed. While opioid medications can be very effective in pain management, they can cause significant side effects. Your medical team will work to help you minimize the need for opioid medications. Ask your pharmacist about ways to return unused medications. Other ways to manage pain include walking, sitting in a chair, working with a physical therapist, and other distraction and relaxation techniques, such as watching a movie, listening to music, etc. You are an important part of the medical process. Do not hesitate to write down your questions and ask them to the medical team. All personnel should identify themselves. If they do not, ask. All personnel should wash their hands with soap or foam upon entering your room. Before any testing and administration of medications, your identity should be confirmed. In most cases, you are ready for discharge when your vital signs are stable, including blood pressure, heart rate, and temperature. Your pain is at a manageable level. You are able to eat a normal diet. Your bowel function has returned to normal. 
You are able to get in and out of bed with minimal assistance. Your physician and medical team will determine if you need any follow-up care. Other things to consider. Ask your physician if you will be on a special diet. Call your doctor's office the day after you get home to schedule a follow-up appointment if not scheduled at the time of your discharge. Remember, you will not be able to drive yourself home from the hospital. Please arrange your transportation in advance. Once you return home, you will have some instructions to assist you in your continued recovery. No heavy lifting, a 10 pound limit, for six weeks or until instructed by your surgeon. Walking, early mobilization is essential for best patient outcomes and will help you regain your energy level following surgery. Climbing stairs is allowed. No gym workouts, only walking until cleared by your surgeon. No driving until cleared by your surgeon. If you are allowed to shower, pat the surgical area dry. No baths or no swimming until cleared by your surgeon. Call your surgeon's office if you experience any of the following symptoms. Fever of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or greater, nausea and or vomiting, worsening pain, diarrhea with abdominal cramps, constipation or pain or drainage or redness from around your incisions. Commonly asked questions. Will I have pain after my surgery? Yes, you will have some pain from your incisions after your surgery. Your doctor will ask you about your pain often. You will be given medication to manage your pain as needed. If your pain level isn't relieved, please tell your doctor or nurse. It's important to control your pain so you can cough, breathe deeply, use your incentive spirometer, and get out of bed and walk. When you can swallow liquids, you will get your pain medication by mouth. You will be given a prescription for pain medication before you leave the hospital. How long will I be in the hospital? Most people that have inpatient surgery will spend two to three days in the hospital, but this will depend on the exact surgery that is done. Can I shower? You will be able to shower in the hospital and after you go home. Ask your doctor about specific steps to protect your incision site. Do not take a bath or go swimming until your doctor says it's okay. Will I have pain when I am home? The length of time each person has pain or discomfort varies. Some people may have soreness or tightness at their incisions or muscle aches for longer periods of time. This does not mean that something is wrong. Follow the guidelines below to manage your pain. Take your pain medications as directed and as needed. Call your doctor if the medication prescribed for you doesn't relieve your pain. Don't drive or drink alcohol while you're taking prescription medication. Working hard to increase your activity is the best way to help manage your pain in the long term. Follow your physician's instructions for medicines and non-medicine page management. If you have any questions, call your doctor's office. How do I care for my incisions? The location and size of your incisions will depend on the type of surgery you had. It is normal to have some numbness of the skin below the incisions. This sensation will lessen over time. Discuss the care of your incisions with your medical team prior to discharge. How can I prevent constipation? You may experience constipation, trouble passing stool, after your surgery. This is a common side effect of opioid pain medication. General activity such as walking and drinking more water can help reduce this side effect. If having difficulty with constipation, please call your doctor's office. When can I resume normal activities? Doing your normal activities is an important part of regaining your strength. However, follow the guidelines below. Don't lift anything heavier than 10 pounds, strain, or do strenuous exercise for at least six weeks after your surgery or as instructed by your surgeon. Walking is a good way to increase your endurance. You can climb stairs, but try to limit how often you do this for the first week you're home. Don't go out by yourself until you're sure of what you can do. Rest as needed. It is not uncommon for it to take several weeks to resume a normal sleep pattern. When is it safe for me to drive? Don't drive until your surgeon tells you it's okay. This will be some time after your first follow-up appointment after your surgery. If you're still taking your prescribed pain medication, your surgeon may want you to wait longer before driving. The pain medication can slow your reflexes and responses, making it unsafe to drive. What type of follow-up care will I receive after I leave the hospital? Your surgeon will want to see you for follow-up after surgery. If you don't have an appointment before you leave the hospital, call your surgeon's office to schedule it. It is important that you go to all your follow-up visits after surgery. 
You can call your doctor or nurse if you have any questions in between these appointments. Remember, your surgeon's instructions supersede any material discussed in this video. Thank you for trusting us with your health care needs. If you have any questions or concerns once you return home, please call your doctor's office. At CHI St. Vincent, our commitment to your well-being extends beyond the operating room. Our compassionate care continues after surgery. We're here to support you on your path to recovery and to help you regain your quality of life. Trust us to help guide you through a successful recovery.